horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. During the years of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors. And for once, his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're on the trail of the Black Girl! Come on, Silver! Away! <laughs> The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode south from Helena. Two members of the Legion of the Black Arrow watched them from the pass high above the valley. The mask man. Him and the Indian. Why, they're heading this way. Yes, along the trail. They'll be up here in about three hours, Craddock. Get an ambush ready for them. Make sure you don't miss. Kino. Get rid of him and you'll have a place of honor at the next meeting in the cave. Oh, wait. What's the matter? Look at the other pass. The one from the west. You got a spyglass, Torlock? Those black specks. Aren't they men riding down to the valley? Yes. Pack train? They've hailed the mask man. Sort of funny. They must know him or that mask and make him think he was an outlaw. They're soldiers, Craddock. Soldiers? My guess is that's General Cartwright at the head of the column. And the mask man and engine are turning around. They're riding to meet him. Our chance is gone. No, it isn't. He'll be riding south alone sometime. I can hang around with the men and wait for him. There isn't time, Craddock. The Black Arrow has other work for you hundreds of miles from here. Work that can't wait. What's up? I'll explain that later, when we've joined your partner. Huh? Karen is waiting for us just outside of Denver. Karen. I don't like her. That isn't important. She has brains and you'll need her. Come on. Get up. Get up there. Did you follow the instructions you received, Karen? I have the clothes I was told to get. And I'm here. That's all your message said. You seem to resent the fact it didn't say more. It didn't surprise me. You guard your plan so carefully, Torlock. The leader must be very proud of you. At times he has been. Or perhaps you even guard your plans from him. That would be impossible. Oh, cut it out. What's the use of all the palaver? I always make it a point to let Karen get her hate for me talked out. Afterwards, she'll be ready to go to work. Oh, I'm sorry. It's wrong for me to hate you. We're both working for the same cause. Why don't you cut it out? I'll tell you why. 
I've only been to the cave twice. I've never seen the leader's face. <laughs> That's nothing. Nobody has. But I... I'm thrilled to his words. The Legion of the Black Arrow shall triumph. I die for him. We all swear allegiance to the death, Karen. That doesn't explain your hatred of me. It's because you remind me of him. <laughs> Do I? There's something in your voice. I think you try to imitate him. And you're so different. The leader's like a bright sword cutting through the night and... And you. Yes? A knife that strikes in the back. You're cold and ruthless and cruel. So are you. <laughs> you're not cold, Craddock. The leader is called with a flame. He has? It wasn't a compliment. When you flare up, you're apt to lose your good judgment and act on impulse. Oh. But you'll try to learn more self-control, won't you? And follow orders without... I've never disobeyed an order. Without question, Karen. I... Yes, Torlock. I'll obey without question in the future. And listen. Have either of you heard of Stephen Hayden? No. I have. He's an editor in St. Louis. He's coming west. What for? To live. In Bennett City, to be exact. He's bought the Frontier Times. What about it? We disapprove of his ideas. He believes that if the Indians are treated fairly, we won't have any more trouble with them. That's true enough. With tribes like Thunderclouds, anyway. The Black Arrow wants trouble. Even now, the leader is planning to arouse the Indians in revolt. We must put an end to Stephen Hayden's influence before it has a chance to be felt. And how do you plan to do that? He's never been west before. He isn't known in Bennett City at all. How'd he buy the paper? All the transactions were carried on by mail. But he and his daughter are starting from St. Joe's in a week. I see. His daughter. The Black Arrow will make sure that he never reaches Bennett City. You and Craddock will arrive instead. Take their place, huh? That's right. But I don't know anything about running a paper. Don't worry. I'll be close at hand to give you all the advice you need. And uh, all I have to do is play a part? You'll find it's a part that's worthy of the flame. We start in the morning. Death to our enemies. Death to our enemies. What's the matter, Mary? Nothing, Father. You seem to be worried. I'm just wondering, that's all. The agent in the last town said we'd follow a long, low ridge all the way into Bennett City. We are. But the ridge is on our left instead of on the right. And this road is so bumpy. We haven't found any that are very smooth. I don't believe it. Oh, uh, Did you hurt yourself? No. <laughs> I don't believe this is the main trail. Why don't you ask the guard why we're coming this way? These men know their business, Mary. The country's so wild. I've been wanting to see a few trees, but there's so many around here. Looks as if we're heading straight into a forest. It was a mistake to bring you with me. Oh, no, it wasn't. You're going to need someone to make a home for you. You're nervous. I, I haven't been until now. Father! You know what? Look over there. There's a band of men riding out of the trees. Well? They're mad. Get down on the floor. Not unless you do. I have a gun. We can fight. You said these men knew their business. It's up to the guard to protect the coach. He's only one man against a half a dozen. He can't hold them off. We're stopping. Perhaps the driver's wise. He wouldn't have a chance to fight it out. There's a woman with them. All right, Mr. Hayden. Step out of the coach with your hands high. Do as he says, Father. It's a good thing I'm not carrying much money with me. <laughs> I take it this is a holdup. In a way. Get his wallet and all his papers, Craddock. Right. My papers? Remember your cover. Yes, one false move and I'll have to shoot. I notice you aren't bothering to cover the guard. The guard happens to be a friend of ours. That goes for the driver. They're friends and willing workers. They're crooks. Not at all, Miss Hayden. You'll understand everything when I have a chance to talk with you and your father. What do you mean by that? You got everything, Craddock? I guess so. Make sure. Uh, I'm sure. And it's time for you to join your father outside, Miss Hayden. You want me to? You wouldn't harm a woman. That depends on you. I'm waiting. And unless your daughter obeys me at once, I may have to... No, please don't shoot. Inside the coach, Craddock. All right, Karen. Must you always use our names, Torlock? <laughs> there's nothing to fear from these two. Pretty little fool. I'm glad there's no need for acting like her. Hurry. <laughs> you have your instructions, Craddock. Identify yourself, take over the newspaper, and then wait for me. How long will you be? I'm going to have a talk with Mr. Hayden. It won't take long. Get going, driver. Right. Get up here. Get up. Come on, get up. Bring up those horses. Where are you taking us? You're to be our guest. They're going to hold us prisoner. It's all right, Mary. Into the saddle, both of you. Give them some help. 
That's the idea. Back to camp, boys. Dig in with your spurs. <laughs> The news of Indian unrest had brought the Lone Ranger and Tonto south from the gold country, first to Denver, then east to Dodge City and south to Abilene. Then on to Bennett City, the great horse Silver and Scout raced along the trail. Suddenly the masked man raised his arm and a signal to stop. What? What matter, Kimo Sabi? We've been following the wheel marks the last stage that came this way. They've disappeared. Ah. I think we'd better investigate. Maybe so. Other trail cut away from this one, back there. Yes. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. That not main trail. It leaves the other side of the ridge. Then it cuts back to this one beyond. Ah. I can't understand why the stage should take it. Stage turn here, all right. It's bad country on the other side of the ridge. Plenty bad. We'll follow these tracks, Tonto. I don't like the looks of it. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Rested after your hard ride? A little. I think you realize it would be almost impossible for anyone to find you here. Why are you holding us prisoners? I figured that out. That man and woman who got into the stage are going on to Bennett City. They're going to pretend they're you and me. Why, Torlock? Because we need your paper. What does a band of outlaws want with a paper? Did you ever hear the Black Arrow? I've heard something. The Legion of the Black Arrow? Yes. There's supposed to be a secret organization. Not supposed to be, there is. We're pledged to destroy Me? The... You're one of them. Yes, Mr. Hayden, I'm one of them. We're pledged to destroy the power of the United States west of the Mississippi. We're building a new empire. You're crazy. <laughs> the men of vision have often been called crazy. Perhaps you have yourself. In uh, regard to the Indian problem, for instance. Kindness and tolerance are the only things can solve that problem. Exactly the course we shall follow when they're under our rule. But until that day comes, they must be kept in a constant turmoil, angry and bitter against the settlers, anxious for revenge. Father. It's all right, dear. Of course it's all right. You know, we respect your brains, Mr. Hayden. We'd like to have you work for us. What's that? We offer two rewards. In the future, a high place at the side of the emperor. Right now, $100,000. What if I refuse? I have business in Bennett City. I'm going to leave you here with the men. Can't you take these ropes off? You'll think better of them on. I'm going to leave you here to consider the alternative. And what's that? The alternative is death. It's no use, Father. You'll never be able to get those ropes loose. They're cutting into your wrist more and more. The light from the campfire doesn't reach us here. I've got to keep trialing while I have the chance. It's no use. Please, please don't. I'll never give in to that madman. He's asking me to be a traitor to the United States. Can't you pretend to give in? If we only had a little time. We haven't. Someone's bound to find out that man and the girl are imposters before long. They'll start looking for that us. That won't do any good. And I don't think pretending would do any good either. If I accept that man's proposition, he'd make me do something right away to incriminate myself. Who are you? But father. I don't cry out, please. A masked man. You can't be a member of the gang. I'm not. Will you help us? Who are you? Stephen Hayden. I'm from St. Louis. This is my daughter. That's enough. I'll cut your ropes and get you out of here. <laughs> Did you make that noise? Yes. It sounded like a bird. We'll soon have horses here. Joe, is that you? Quick, I'll help you up behind Toto, miss. <coughs> Joe, answer me. Go on, Toto. Here's my hand, Hayden. Up. Hey, what's going on over there? Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Boys, it's the prisoners. They're getting away. Up and after them. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rescued Stephen Hayden and his daughter from the camp where the Black Arrow were holding them prisoners. In spite of the fact they were carrying double, Silver and Scout soon left their pursuit behind. And just before dawn, camp was made in the woods outside of Bennett City. That's fine, Tonto. You've chosen a spot where the fire can't be seen from the trail. Ah. You say you're not an outlaw. No, I'm not. And we aren't prisoners. No. Then why won't you take us into Bennett City? Because it isn't safe. You've told me there's a man and a girl who are using your name. That's true. I want to find the sheriff and denounce them. But you've also told me they took all your papers. Yes. And there's no one in town who can identify you. Well, no, but Then I... how are you going to prove your statement? He's right, Father. You can't. Well, take us back to Abilene. The express agent there will answer for us. Mr. Hayden, while you were in that camp, how much did you learn about the Black Arrow? They're a band of traitors, and they're trying to overthrow the government. Did you meet a man called Torlock? Yes, he offered me $100,000 to join them. That must give you some idea of their wealth and power. They're all over the West. Even sheriffs, bankers. Men who are respected by everyone. Well, they belong. If Torlock isn't their leader, he's one of the Legion's most important officers. I can believe that. You could accuse him of treason against the United States, couldn't you? Of course. But he intends to use your paper to incite the settlers against the Indians. That's what I gathered. If we let him go ahead with his plans, this may be our chance to capture him. I see. You want to give him enough rope to hang himself? Yes. If I only knew who you were, I feel that I ought to trust you, but your mask... You hear him call Horse Silver? Yes. Of course, Silver. Him Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. Oh, Father, you've got to do what he says. I will, Mask Man, anything at all. Then, for the time being, just stay here where you'll be safe. But how can we find out what's happening? Toto, uh -huh. you'd better start for Abilene right now. Get the express agent and bring him back here. You know him? Yes. Here, give him a silver bullet and he'll follow your instructions. Uh -huh. Here, Scout. Tell him that he'll have to be away for several days to make all the arrangements necessary. When the time comes to identify you, Hayden, we'll have to do it in a hurry. How can you find out what Torlock's up to? As soon as Tano gets back, he'll help me with a disguise, and then I'll go into town. Uh -huh. Maybe Black Arrow in there. It's a chance we'll have to take. All right, Kimosabe. Get him up, Scout. <laughs> It was early that evening that Karen raced along the main street of Bennett City and reined up in front of the newspaper office. The girl was crying, and as she swung from her saddle, a crowd of townspeople surrounded her. Let me through, please. I'm the sheriff, Miss Hayden. What's happened? Please, I, I want my father. Clear the way there. Mary. Mary, what's the meaning of this? Oh, Paul, I, I'm afraid. Afraid of what? <laughs> Out of town to see the sunset from the ridge. Alone? Yes, I. Well, I warned you not to. There are Indians around here. Well, they're only Thunderclouds tribe, Mr. Hayden. You don't have to be afraid of them. <laughs> Mary, just just what happened? I, I rode a long way. I, I didn't realize it. It was getting dark when I turned back, and then I saw them coming over the ridge. Indians. Why, they wouldn't have hurt you. They, they started yelling and shooting at me. One of the arrows came so close, I, I thought it hit me. Must have been Apache. I, I don't know. They were painted. Red streak down each cheek. One across their forehead. Does that sound like Apache? No, it sounds like uh, Thunderclouds men. But they haven't put on war paint for years. You heard my daughter. Yes, but, but I still... Look, there's an arrow stuck in the saddle blanket. <laughs> I guess that's proof enough. Well, it's the kind Thundercloud uses. This means war. Oh. No. Now, wait a minute, Hayden. The Indians your daughter saw may be renegades. I'll go to Thunderclouds Village tomorrow and have a talk with him. A talk? I tell you, his tribe is peaceful. And I say they're murdering savages. The Times is printing an extra tonight, Sheriff. The whole territory is going to learn about this. I'm calling on every decent man to ride against Thunderclouds tribe and wipe them out. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> you saw it, Torlak? I was watching from this office window, carefully, of course. I didn't show myself, but I could see and hear everything. My congratulations on your caution. <laughs> it 
Bring Craddock in here. Why don't you... That's an order. He's giving the story to the men. They have to set it up in type. He's had plenty of time for that. Very well. Oh, here he is now. How long before the papers will be printed? They're just starting. I guess three or four hours. That's good enough. As soon as you've finished, have the men distribute them all over town. Kino. Karen and I are leaving Bennett City, Craddock. You are? Right away. You'll be leaving before morning as well. But I thought The reason I... we've struck so fast here and the reason we're moving out is very simple. The Lone Ranger. Yes, he's somewhere around. And the real Stephen Hayden is with him. Well, what's the sheriff going to think if Mary... I mean, if Karen and me disappear? You're going to take care of that. Hmm? After the men have left the printing office, you'll wreck the presses. Wreck them? Wreck this office, too. I have some evidence that you'll leave behind here. What kind take of... Take a look at it. An arrow, a belt, and a tomahawk. All with the markings of Thundercloud's tribe. Where'd you get them? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Perhaps Thundercloud gave them to me himself. You understand, Craddock? Yeah, sure. It looked as if the Indians carried me off. Exactly. Come, Karen. I'm ready. Then hurry. Hi, Kimasabi. Hi, my mask, Toto. Huh? What did you find out? I didn't see Torlock, but you're taking over the paper tonight, Hayden. Tonight? An extra's being printed. If the county reads it, it may be open warfare with Thundercloud's tribe. Well, what you say? The girl who's taking your place, Miss Hayden, came riding into town with a story that Thundercloud's braves have tried to murder her. Oh, that's not true. The sheriff found it just as hard to believe, but the settlers may believe it. We can't wait to catch Torlock. We'll have to expose those imposters at once. Ah. Hayden, you and your daughter can ride the extra horses Toto brought from Abilene. Them all saddled. We'll get mounted. Smith. Yes, sir. The sheriff knows you, doesn't he? Sure. He'll take your word about Hayden. If he don't, I'll bust his head in. He'll be glad to, but we've got to hurry. We're all ready. Then come on. Get him up, stop him. Oh, oh, oh. Indians on warpath. Thundercloud's brutal murder attempt. A call to arms. That's fine, boys. This paper will wake them up. Now, I want all of you to grab a bundle and distribute them before you go home. Don't miss a single house in town. Up with your hands. A masked man. That's a sheriff with him. Hey, what's up? What's your name? My name? Why, you know my name, Sheriff. I'm Stephen Hayden. He isn't telling the truth, men. Here's the real Stephen Hayden. He was taken prisoner between here and Abilene. What's that? What's that? This man's an imposter, and he's under arrest. You have work to do, Hayden. Right. This paper belongs to me, boys, and my first order is to burn all those papers. We'll have an extra, though. An extra that tells the truth about the gang this man belongs to and what they're trying to do. Come on, help me cut these lies outside. Into the office, you. You'll want to have a talk with him, won't you, mass man? Yes. Hold up, not here. Neither is the girl. <laughs> Just try and find him. We will. What's your charge against me, Sheriff? First, it's holding up the stage, and second... <coughs> what the... There it is, Sheriff, on his wrist. The mark of the black arrow. Yeah. What about it? That brand you is a traitor. Try and prove it. Hayden can do that, and he will. Just as soon as the sheriff turns you over to a United States Marshal. A tattoo mark isn't any proof You'll that find I'm... out differently. Hayden found out the meaning of the black arrow from Torlock himself. His daughter was a witness. The second charge is treason, and you'll pay the penalty. What answer you got to that? The Legion of the Black Arrow will triumph. Who are you? Where's Torlock now? You'll never find out from me. I'll show you. It's no use, Sheriff. Not even death. I know your oath. All you can do is lock him up and turn him over to the government. One thing I must warn you about, Sheriff. What's that? Don't mention the Black Arrow to anyone. Why not? Seems to me that the more people that know about it, the better. The government doesn't seem to think so. When the right time comes to strike against them openly, we'll call on every loyal American. Until then, you must guard the secret of the Black Arrow as carefully as they do themselves. Whatever you say goes, masked man. Of course, I'd like to help. And for the time being, just make sure your prisoner doesn't escape. Yeah, you can depend on that. At least we stopped him from making any trouble with the Indians. We can't be sure. We may be trying to arouse them as well as the settlers. Well, Tonto and I are riding on. Good luck, masked man. I don't have to tell you. You're fighting for the lives of every man and woman in this county. We'll do our best. Come, Tonto. Ah. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced out of town... The first gray light of dawn rimmed the sky. 
On they rode. The great copper sun rose above the horizon. The distant hills took shape through the morning mist. And suddenly, the masked man raised his arm in a signal to stop. Steady, Silver. Look, Tonto, that isn't mist, is it? No. It looked more like smoke. A signal. That's right. What does it say? Brave from Thundercloud tribe make signal. It called for help. Need help plenty bad. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. Prairie was left behind. Into the foothills they rode. The signals had stopped. A great rock marked the ridge where they'd been sent. And sure of their destination, the masked man and the Indian raced on. At last the rock could be seen. Then a faint thread of smoke still rising to the sky. And as they reined up, they saw an Indian lying on the ground. <clears throat> Quick, Tonto. That bray's been hurt. Uh -uh. I'll bring the canteen. Come to do it. He's trying to get to his feet, hanging onto the rock. I... We saw your signal. What's happened? Uh, you, you listen. Danger. Chief Thundercloud. Oh. Him fall. He was trying to warn us about something. We've got to save his life, Kimosabi. Hurry, Tonto. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.